Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this beautiful algebra math problem which is a times b is equal to 15, b times c is equal to 30 and c times a is equal to 45. So here we will try to find out the value of a plus b plus c. So here first of all we will try to find out the value of a, b and c and then we will add up that values. So how can we find this, these values? So part it first of all let us suppose this is our equation number first. This is equation number second and this is equation number third. Here we multiply the left hand side of these equations with each other and also the right hand side. So let's multiply the left hand sides with the left hand sides and the right hand side with the right hand sides. So this statement will become this implies the left hand side of equation number first is a b times the left hand side of equation number second is b c and left hand side of equation number third is c a equal to let's multiply their right values so the value of a is b is 15 the value of b c is 30 and the value of c a is 45 now here a is two times in the left hand side so therefore we can write this as a square b is also two times this is b square c is also two times so this will become c square is equal to this is 15 times we can write this 30 as 15 times 2 which is 30 times and we can write this 45 as 9 times 5 which is 45. Now here in the left hand side of this equation we will use an algebraic identity in algebraic exponential result. So here in the left hand side we will use this one result a times b times c whole to power x it can also be written as raised to power x times b raised to power x times c raised to power x. So using this result here, from the left hand side we will take out the power common out. So this left hand side will become, this will become a times b times c whole raised to power 2 all square is equal to, here 15 is 2 times, so this will become 15 square times we can write this 9 as 3 square and here 2 times 5 is 10. Now here there is square over the left hand side so we will take square root on both sides to eliminate the square from the left hand side. Now let us take square root over both sides. So this will become here this square and this square will be cancelled. So only a, b, c is left and here we will split this square root over this number this and this so this will become square root of 15 square times square root of 3 square times square root of 10 now here in these two numbers the square root and square root will be cancelled so this will become 15 times 3 which is 45 this will become 45 times square root of 10 now let us suppose this is equation number 4 now since we have the values of a b B, C and C, A. So we will recall these values. So we will write these values here again. Now the value of A, B is 15. The value of B, C is 30. And the value of C, A is 45. Now we will use these values to find out the value of A, B and C. Now to find out the value of A, therefore we can write A is we can write this a is a times b times c divided by b c. This is because b c can cancel with b c and this gives him a back. Here we will substitute the values of a b c which is this one 45 times square root of 10. Now the value of b c is 30. So let's simplify these two numbers. These two numbers are divisible by 15. 15 times 2 is 30. And 15 times 3 is 45. So this will become 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2. So this is the value of A. And here we will try to find out the value of B. Now to find out the value of B, therefore we can write B as A times B times C divided by C A. Here we substitute the value of A B C which is 45 times square root of 10 divided by the value of CA is 45. 
So here 45 will be cancelled with 45. So this will give him only 10. So therefore the value of B is only 10. Now to find out the value of C, we can write C as A times B times C divided by AB. Here the value of ABC is 45 times root of 10 divided by the value of AB is 15. So this will become 15. Now again these two numbers are divisible by 15. 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45. So this gives him 3 times root of 10. So 3 times root of 10 is the value of C. Now since we have to find out the value of A plus B plus C. So therefore we will add up their values here. So the value of A plus B plus C will become. The value of A is 3 times root of 10 divided by 2 plus the value of B is square root of 10 plus the value of C is 3 times square root of 10. Now look at to all the three values here in all the three values square root of 10 is common. So we will take out square root of 10 common from the right hand side. So this will become taking square root of 10 common. So here in the first number only 3 by 2 is left plus in the second number only 1 is left and in the third number only 3 is left. Now here we will take LCM of these three numbers. So here the in denominator there is 1 in both the terms. So the LCM of 2 with 1 1 is only 2. So this will become square root of 10 times LCM will be 2 dividing 2 by 2 gives him 1 1 times 3 is 3. Plus, dividing 2 by 1 gives him 2, 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, dividing 2 by 1 gives him 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So, this will become 6. So, for the next, we can write this as square root of 10 times. This will become adding 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, divided by 2. So, we can also write this number as, so the final value of A plus B plus C will become this can be written as 11 times square root of 10 divided by 2 so this is our final value of a plus b plus c that is required in this problem